Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today I want to show you how to set up two-factor authentication with Remote Desktop Manager. Using 2FA with RDM gives you an extra layer of security so you can protect your data source. First, I'm just going to show you what connecting to the data source looks like with Google Authenticator, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So I've already set up Google Authenticator with um, my data source in RDM. Let me just open up RDM. It asked me for my password. I'll put it in right here. Log in. Now it asks me for a Google Authenticator validation key. So I open Google Authenticator on my phone and put in the key. Yes, we're in. We can connect to most data sources using 2FA with RDM. I'll just briefly go over which data sources are supported. There is Devolution's online database, MariaDB, Microsoft Access, SQL Azure, SQL Server, SQLite, and MySQL. We also have options for four different types of 2FA. There's Google Authenticator that I just showed you, YubiKey, Duo, and AuthAnvil. Now let's look at how to set one up. So let's look at how to set up Google Authenticator. Make sure you've already installed the Google Authenticator application on a device beforehand. For example, I have it on my phone. To access the data source configuration settings, go to File, Data Sources, and then click Edit, which is the little pencil. And here down at the bottom, we have Two Factor, and it says None, which is a link. Click on that and click Change. Now we choose the Two Factor authentication that we would like. As I said, um, I'm going to go with Google Authenticator. Click Save. Now there's this QR code that I need to scan. Okay, it saved the secret and it's given me a validation code that I need to enter right there. At the bottom. Now they're linked. And we'll click OK to save it. Now it's all set up so when I Click OK here, it's just going to connect me to my data source, so it's asking me for the information again. OK, click Enter. Great, now I'm connected to my data source, and each time I connect, it will ask me for a code from Google Authenticator. If you're using Duo, YubiKey, or AuthAnvil, you're going to start this configuration in the same place I just did with File Data Sources but the last couple of steps are going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go through them right now because we've described them all on our online help. And if you just go to data source, two-factor authentication, or you can even just search for the product you're using, for example, Duo, and our search will find you the answer. Then if we just clicked here, you'll see it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. So that's it. I wish you a very happy and safe time working with RDM. If you've enjoyed this video, think about subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're making more and more each week. If you have a question, why not jump into the community at Devolutions on our forums? It's a very, very active and fun place. And follow us on social media if you like. Thanks again for watching.